This is Daily Armenia, Civilnet's daily news digest. Here's what you need to know today. Bowing to mounting public pressure, Yerevan's deputy mayor announced today that City Hall will not be moving to raise public transport fares next week, as had been planned. The now postponed proposal will introduce a tiered price model that would result in an average price hike of about 20 cents per ride. Right now it costs about 25 cents per ride, a price that has not changed for more than a decade. Justifying the decision to postpone the price hike, Suren Gregorian acknowledged receiving constructive criticism that will be taken into consideration before a new plan is submitted, while also criticizing what he called political speculation and lies around the matter. Public transport price hikes remain a sensitive issue in Yerevan, where hundreds of thousands of residents commute. It has been a tumultuous week for City Hall, with City Council member and former Mayor Haik Marutyan expelled alongside two other opposition lawmakers this week, ostensibly for absenteeism. The former councillors say the real reason for their ouster is their criticism of the ruling civil contract party. Marutyan has since declared that he intends to run for prime minister in the next parliamentary elections, expected in 2026. Armenia has transferred 10 tons of humanitarian aid to the Ukrainian Defense Ministry's main medical hospital in Kyiv, the second such aid delivery in the past week. A third shipment is also scheduled, this time to a military hospital in the Kharkiv region. Armenia's ambassador to Ukraine was present at the handover ceremony, organized by the primary Ukrainian-Armenian community group. The move is likely to upset Russia, which has decried previous steps Armenia has taken over the past months to forge ties with Ukraine. For example, after a senior Armenian official attended a Ukrainian-led peace summit last October, a Russian spokesperson claimed Armenia is regrettably and persistently destroying our allied relationship. While contacts between Armenian and Ukrainian officials have increased increased, Ukraine continues to be one of Azerbaijan's biggest supporters on the global stage. Yesterday, President Vladimir Zelensky warmly congratulated Azerbaijani President Ilham Aliyev on his re-election earlier this week, despite wide evidence of fraud and criticism of the vote's restrictive nature. Various Ukrainian officials have also made statements supportive of Azerbaijan's forcible takeover of Nagorno-Karabakh last year. Be sure to check out our latest interview with Richard Giragosian, head of the Yerevan-based Regional Studies Center think tank. Richard joined us this week to review Azerbaijan's rigged elections and recent changes to the country's military leadership, as well as Armenia's move to replace its highest-ranking military officers with NATO-trained personnel. Find this in-depth analysis linked in the description or on our website. And finally, the civil net number of the day is 154,000. That's the number of tourists who visited Armenia last month, according to the country's tourism committee. That's slightly down from last January's figure of 159,000 visitors, but still higher than in years past. Armenia broke its all-time tourism record last year, welcoming more than 2.3 million visitors. And as always, please follow Civilnet for the latest news and independent reporting from our contributors on the ground here in Armenia.